Amen. Welcome to our second devotional here of the week on Tuesday. And um, I, I want to share with you, it's kind of, it, it continues from our, our first devotional of the week, which is, an, and the title of this one is An, an Option Worth Taking. Um, forgiveness isn't something that is natural for all of us. And, uh, you know, yesterday we looked at that and explored that. But Galatians, um, Galatians chapter 5, verse number 6 says, for when we place our faith in Christ Jesus, there is no benefit in being circumcised or uncircumcised. What is important is faith expressing itself in love. So I'm going to take another approach, basically, to forgiveness, and that is love. Um, the greatest commandment that we receive from the Lord is to simply do two things, love God and then love everyone else. And uh, the greatest source of teaching of that is, is of love is found in, in 1 Corinthians 13 where forgiveness is an essential part of love. Um, you know, if you look at that portions of scripture in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses four and five, it says, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and keeps no record of being wronged. That's, that's a huge statement of it. See, when you can't or won't forgive, um, you will keep records of wrong. Um, you will fight for your own self-interests. Um, and when you keep records of hurts that have happened with your life, um, you'll be easily provoked and angered. And see, it's hard to obey God's command of love because something takes precedence within your life. And that's the record that we're keeping. Um, true love forgives. True love offers that forgiveness to the person that has wronged us. And when faith is expressed through love, um, you know, the biggest thing is bitterness and resentment. They can't stick around. Those are things that cannot exist within your life when faith is expressed through that element of love. And so if love is a choice, then I think forgiveness is a choice as well. One and, one and the same. So you can't blame the past. You can't, you can't focus on the present and you can't, you can't even have negative circumstances uh, for your decisions of the future. You have to be able to embrace the fact that for you to move forward, you must let go of the past, you must deal with the present and you must move forward in faith and love for the future. And so it, it's a personal choice and it has to be a personal choice that you make within your life. Forgiveness is something that doesn't uh, give excuse to a sin. No, it doesn't. But what it does, it removes the burden for someone having to carry the wrong that they committed. And so forgiveness is the only chance for many of us um, that we'll ever get any type of relationships restored within our life. And that's what my prayer is for this devotion. I believe that God will restore relationships in this new year through forgiveness, that you would restore those things that the enemy has taken from you. Um, and the only way to restore that is through the love of Jesus. And I would pray that we would embrace that for this year, through our homes, through our church, through our family, our friends. Um, let the Lord heal relationships and restore them and renew them within your life as you step into 22, 2022, asking God for something to do. Bow your heads as, as we pray. We thank you, Father, for this word. It's so simple and it, it, it sounds so easy, but when the choice to forgive presents itself, um, it's an option that we have to take. And I pray, Father, that we embrace that. I pray, Father, that we take this option and we, we choose to forgive and love and we don't allow it to weigh over our life, God. I pray restored relationships in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would renew hope to many in the name of Jesus. I come against the enemy's uh, stronghold and I break those chains in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would make all things new. We thank you for this devotion and I pray it comes to fruition within our life. I pray blessing over your children. Now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for joining today's devotional. And again, forgiveness is a powerful 
um, tool in our life that we can use. Uh, just a fresh reminder for tomorrow, we do have our Zoom Wednesday night Bible study that I would love to invite you to. It's at 7 p.m. The meeting ID and passcode will be on our social media. And we're going to be looking at a study on fasting um, as we prepare for our Daniel fast as well as our week of prayer. Uh, I want to empower you with some great information. So Wednesday, again, at 7 p.m., uh, we'll be doing a Bible study looking at the, uh, the element of fasting. And I believe, God, we can put it to practice in your life. Amen. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you.